Hey everybody. Um, tonight has been terrible outside. Um, I didn't think I was going to be out here very long and I should not have been out here very long, but uh, I just couldn't get myself to go in. There's just so much to do out in the garden. Probably not worth it since nothing's growing anyways. Okay. It is growing. Um, but I was just going to talk about I was going to talk about a lot of stuff, but now it's getting late and it's getting dark and I really shouldn't be out here in this smoke. Um, this is all from the Canadian wildfires. Today is June 27th and this is just, this is terrible. That is all smoke. It looks like haze, but it's smoke and it smells like smoke and uh, I just shouldn't have been breathing this for the last four hours. I don't know where the time goes when you're out in the garden. Um, but I got a few beets. That's what I was going to talk about tonight. I was going to talk about if it's too late to still be planting stuff. And I don't think so. Um, I'll talk about it more another day though, just cause I really need to get inside. Um, but I did go through and I watered everything and I gave it all a good washing off because I'm sure there's got to be dirt and stuff landing on it. Um, the peppers still have a lot of sun scald, but I mean, some of them are just looking beautiful. I just, I don't know what to think of this garden this year. Nothing is growing right. But look at the dill. The dill is doing great. Zucchini, like, look at this one. Just a little tiny one. And then the next one is great big huge. And then the next one is tiny again. And then we have dill that's doing beautiful. Look at how tall this one is. It's beautiful. The tomatoes, fabulous. They are, they are growing right up to the trellis. Even this one that I put up higher, they are, they're reaching for it. They will reach it soon. This dill, I put this in a few days before that other one and these are fabulous. And look at these tomatoes. I mean, I'm not even gonna have to tie them to the trellis. They are growing to the trellis. Last year, I did not use any anything to hold the peppers up and they all stayed up. They seem a little taller and skinnier this year, so I'm hoping they still stay up. Um, I did want to point out, I mean, the tomatoes and the towers are doing okay. They're a little short and stout. You know, they're not reaching up to the trellis like those are. But I always say that the tomatoes do so much better when they have, like, at least a tomato tower or something because I think it makes them feel safer. And I just wanted to show you all of these tomato plants were planted at the exact same time. They all were germinated at exactly the same time, and I planted them all at the same time, and they were all about the same size. But look at some of these that have nice tomato towers on them. And then look at these little tiny ones that don't have trellises. Look how little they are compared to the other ones. They just, they don't grow. I, I really think the tomatoes, if they don't have a trellis, they don't feel safe. So here's, look at that little tiny one down there. It's growing, but look how tiny it is compared to like this one. These are all the same age. So it's really weird. Um, these guys, they're growing. I'm surprised they're growing as tall as they are without trellises, but they'd probably be doing even better if I got the trellises out here. I do have a bunch. I just, there's so much to do. I just haven't got anything out here yet to do that. These are the original dill that I really didn't think were going to make it. And look at how bushy they are. They're super bushy. And these are doing great. I mean, they're all, they're all, everything is getting so big. And then we have some things that are just staying tiny and look at all the flowers on these I mean, they're not even that big and they have got little blossoms all over them which is just fabulous and look at i mean these are growing right into the trellis they're like putting themselves through the trellis i haven't even tied these up look at all the blossoms they just grew to the trellis and see these are shorter they're out here they have no trellis and they're just staying a little bit shorter look at how little short that one is compared to one behind it that's reaching for the trellis. So trellising tomatoes is really important. I just can't get over the smoke. Look at that. It is just crazy. Cabbage is doing fabulous and I did get some netting, some insect netting, because last year that was my problem with the cabbage. It was delicious and 
grew beautiful heads, but they, had, they all had about a million holes in them. So this year I got insect netting and just, I haven't had time to get it out here yet. Marigolds, beautiful. Kale is doing great. I could probably start picking some kale pretty soon. And this is broccoli, and I have no idea what broccoli is going to do. Most of it's standing up, but we'll see. And then we have these cucumbers. Now, this is odd. I'm getting a few little spots on them. These are not growing particularly big. They're staying super short. They got nice stems on them, but they're staying short. And then I have these. Again, these were all germinated at the same time. They were all brought out here at the same time. And look at how much bigger these are. These are starting to go the trellis, but I'm gonna need to tie them up. So I will do that this weekend. Probably, no, maybe not this weekend. Uh, a couple days, I will try and get that done. I have beans, like all of a sudden they just grow. The purple ones are all doing good, but I have not seen any beans on them yet. Um, and then I have beans over here, no beans on them. And some more beautiful marigolds. These are just, just, they're fabulous. Okay. And then we gotta come over here. Ah, the smoke is, it's like moving in. I gotta get in the house. There are lots of warnings that we shouldn't be outside right now. So I gotta get in. Um, the lettuce though, look at that lettuce growing. I think I'll be able to have a salad in a couple days. And the beets just shot up. I mean, you couldn't even see them a couple days ago. And now look at how huge they are. Um, this is the onions that are shooting up all of a sudden. These are onions that I grew from seed. I've never really been successful at growing onions from seed. So I'm happy to see these. However, the weeds are gonna eat them very soon. And then I've got the snap peas. These are just incredible. I've already gotten more. This year, um, these short little plants than I think I got all year last year. So, I mean, look at them. They're just, they're all over this plant. There's some more little ones. There's more over here. I'll grab a couple more. Look like they grew since I watered it a little while ago. So those are, these are just incredible. I'll be able to freeze a bunch this year as they're all over, they're all over it. There's some more. Uh, here's another one. You really should cut these off. I had a knife out here with me earlier, but I have very sharp fingernails, so I just break them off. I think I just lost a bean, a pea in there, but that's okay. Oh, oh it's okay. All right, so I got all of those. Oh, can't believe how many there are here. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. I gotta get those off. They're getting big. So give me a second here. I don't want them to get too big. And they don't taste quite as good. My fingernails are not quite sharp enough here. Get all of these. Okay. I'm gonna have to put them in my pocket, I think. Have to wash them when I get in. There's just a couple more. Wow, I didn't even see these a little while ago. Okay, one more here. All right, I freeze these. These are really in the middle of winter when it's really cold out. Those are delicious. And then I saw this onion. Look at that onion coming up here. So I have no idea what's gonna happen with the onions. I see a couple like that. The weeds are trying to take over this bed too but it looks like there's a lot of onions in there, but they're not ready yet. So it's once they turn yellow and fall over, or brown, fall over, that's when you pick them. So they're not ready. The garlic has some scapes on it. So I think those still have a couple weeks to go yet too. Oh, and then I have, I almost forgot, the volunteer tomato plants. Look at these things growing. There's at least 12 of them over here. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I have not decided yet. It would be nice to pull them out and plant them somewhere, but I don't really have any place to plant them. So, I mean, I think I'll just weed around here and leave them here. Maybe get them some trellises. Okay, so that is it for the garden. And I need to get in because this is getting pretty bad here. We have a moon up there. 
this is, I mean, it is just sheets and sheets of smoke here all over. So if you're in the smoke, get out of it. Just go in your house, turn your air conditioner on and keep your doors and windows shut. And don't be like me and spend four hours out here. That's not good. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot down there. I put a pile of compost down there. Um, and I'm gonna spread that out a little bit in a couple days and then I'm gonna put the pumpkin seeds in there. We'll get those planted. And then I did this area. I'm gonna put a few more cucumbers and some cabbage in there. See if we can get that to grow a little bit later in the season. So, all right, happy gardening everybody. Uh, take care, stay safe from this bad air and I'll update more in a couple days. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you, bye.